camping. We are by the poolside. Uh, this campground is a little special because oh, not all campgrounds. Oh, it's very nice. It, it is, actually. Today's Singapore story takes place via a gated community for travelling caravans in Morocco, where Nora and Susie are currently under lockdown. We were on our way out, um, going back to Spain and to tour Europe, when suddenly um, the situation uh, became uh, worse for coronavirus. And just as we were heading up north towards the port, uh, the day before, we heard the border is closed. Since the lockdown, though, have you been having difficulties with your resources, basic necessities? Okay, for for us, uh, we are very, very fortunate uh, to run away from the pandemic into this uh, camping ground. And uh, the special thing about this camping ground is that it's run by French couples, so they are very familiar with uh, so-called European standards. Um, and they have a pool and since the lockdown, they have converted their reception into a small supermarket. So we don't have to go out at all. Right now we have like oranges. Bonjour. And, Radio, uh, and they are super strict with us. And they were saying that if you want to go out, we are not allowed to come back because of the pandemic and everyone is super cautious. So we just came out from the reception. Can you see the camping car behind? Yeah. yeah. So our car is just behind mm. that one. Yeah. Our conversation continues where they are at a table by the swimming pool there amid some uh, really bright bird song. Usually, uh, we wake up about 7 or 8. Um, there's uh, one guy who will bring bread in here. So we will have the baguette, have our breakfast, and uh, come over here at 10.30. There's a lady here who will give a free uh, exercise class yeah. for whoever wants to join. Sometimes I'll join there. And uh, last few days, I've been uh, joining my German neighbor to do some gardening around our camping ground. And then we will try and download uh, whatever we can download uh, 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 Wi-Fi yeah. permits uh, on the news of the latest corona yeah. situation. And then um, just go back to our camping car, cook lunch. Cook lunch. And then uh, in the afternoon, uh, Susie has been teaching Tai Chi to all the French people and it's been quite a popular activity at 4 p.m. every day. And I myself, uh, I'm a trained masseuse actually. I was in Thailand for three months, uh, some years back, uh, learning Thai massage. And uh, some people have been, uh, I mean, they complain about aches and pains and, you know, lo and behold, I become the in-house uh, masseuse. <laughs> it's actually fantastic the way the, the campground has evolved. Before the lockdown, everyone just kept to themselves. It was like a ghost town inside the campground. Everyone is like maybe wary of each other. They just stay in their own uh, camper van, in the camping car and not go out. But after two weeks, you know, when the... 14 days self quarantine is 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 finished then we start to talk to each other and say hi and after the third week everyone is friendlier and we were invited to lunches because we all know we are like covid free <laughs> and it is true that we have so somewhat gone back to basic you know like uh, trying to socialize more um having a little bit more physical uh, activities, simple things like gardening, just walking around the campsite. And we do our laundry by hand yes. also. <laughs> Speaking to us from Morocco, that's two travelling aunties, Nora and Susie, who also have a shout-out for you. Okay, so uh, maybe uh, some uh, message to our families back home in Singapore who are very worried uh, because they don't really can't really see the situation in Morocco for, for our friends and families not to worry about us. We are very safe for now. We are at a very secure place and uh, the Moroccan government is uh, taking care of uh, all the foreigners here pretty well. Uh, we just have to wait and see what in store after the lockdown is lifted and just pray for the world to heal and we'll see you guys soon yes um, just uh, stay safe for now um, be isolated um, that's the only way to get rid of the virus 
uh, until a vaccine is found. So we should all stay safe and uh, just find all the little things that uh, make you happy to do for now. And I'm sure we'll get together one day very soon. Yeah, and stay safe, Singapore. Since September 2019, they have been to the Netherlands, passing through Belgium, France, England, Scotland, Ireland, Wales, Spain, Portugal and Morocco, where they've been stuck in a lockdown for the past three weeks. You can follow their journey online at Two Travelling Aunties. That's the number two, Travelling Aunties. And if you have a story to share or know someone who does, email me, eugene at mediacorp.com.sg. I'm Eugene Lowe for Singapore Stories on CNA. 938.